Hello there, good to see you and thank you for clicking. Now on this video we are looking at how to budget your 25,000 monthly salary. And guess what? This is where majority of Kenyans actually fall in. And after making a previous video on how to budget the 50,000 Kenyan shillings, a lot of people are telling me, hey, you know what, Joseph? Yes, you've done a very good job, but you know what? Majority of us don't even earn that amount of money. How about if you do a video concerning 25,000? Because that's where the majority of us are actually in. And guess what? As good Joseph as always on this video or rather on this channel, I make sure that I satisfy that what you want. All right? Here we have how to budget your 25,000 monthly salary salary as far as you're living in Nairobi or any other place because this video is relevant for you all right guess what I always put a video each and every day so if you don't want to miss any of my good videos in the future this is what you do it's very simple doesn't cost you money just down below there there is a button written subscribe hit that magical button like this video and also turn that notification bell so that whenever I upload a new good video you'll be notified by the YouTube now for now let's get into the day's business now how do you budget your 25,000 at the end of the month now guess what first of all I want to say congratulations for getting a job because that's an amazing thing especially this kind of hours that you're living in all right the very first thing that of course you know will pop out at the first one is about the rent because you have to live somewhere you need to get yourself a very nice good home somewhere you can call a home it doesn't have to be like the most amazing of course earning twenty five thousand at the end of the month it's an okay money but it's not like a high end in terms of income now uh, when it comes to rent, I have dedicated 4500 towards you paying your rent. If you can manage to live below that amount of money, that would be an amazing thing. Because if I was me, I would actually make sure that I live below this amount of money. Okay, if you go by the rule of 30% of your total salary, the 30% of 25000 actually is around 7500 But of course, if you live by that, of course, it means at the end of the day, we might end up not saving anything. So I've proposed for 4500 as your monthly uh, rent, uh, or rather the, the, the rent that you're supposed to pay at the end of the month. But if you can manage to actually live below this amount of money, that would be an amazing thing. And you can make yourself do a lot of things, okay? Okay. And for you to be able to do this exactly, you have to look at different areas. Of course, you have to consider security. Of course, you have to consider some other factors that are out there, okay? All right, we go to the next point, the transport. Of course, you have to move from the one point to the other. And by the way, you might be shocked. The transport cost actually is close to the same as the amount of the rent that you're paying here. Now, here you need to be a very smart individual. What do I mean by this point is this. You might find yourself in a situation whereby you can rent actually a high end in terms of how much you're paying in terms of your rent and also you actually save much on the transport what do i mean by that point okay at this situation you might realize one thing if you're paying 4500 for your rent and then you realize if you were to shift from this house and go to another house that will pay you at maybe let's say 7500 all right it means you won't pay any transport and that means that you've taken the 3000 from the 4500 you've added on the 4500 then that means you've saved yourself 1500 and you can shift that towards your savings now, here you need to be very smart. Sometimes you may realize that you can get that cheap and or affordable house at this amount of money, and then you realize that you're paying the same amount of money for your transport. But if you were to relocate to a different area, then mean you cut the transport cost, and that transport cost, and then you can direct it towards paying your house rent. And at the same time, you might realize you're actually saving something at the end of the day. So whenever I see somebody, maybe they are paying 7,500 with a salary of 25,000 as their tra as their house rent, I do not crucify them because I understand there's somewhere they have cutted the cost. And if you haven't considered that factor when choosing these two options, then you might get yourself into troubles. All right, we go to the part number three. We need water and electricity. We got to live somewhere that is a bit decent, okay? Because we cannot live in caves and cages and all those kind of things. Of course, you have to dedicate your 800 towards you paying this electricity and the water. And I stand corrected at the end of the day. This now, this proposed figures are actually based on the average cost that people usually consume out there. You might find yourself below this amount of money or above this amount of money. That does not mean that whatever I'm proposing here, it is wrong or right at the end of the day, all right? The other, the other thing that you have to consider as warm is the food. This one, you cannot be able to negotiate with it. You have to eat. And there is something I gave you uh, when I posted that video yesterday. I told you that 
uh, whenever that amount of money that usually pay for your rent kind of mirrors exactly how much goes towards you doing the food budgeting and all those kind of things so that exactly means that if you take your five thousand towards you budgeting for your food and when i say this in both cases or in all the cases i'd advise people to do this make sure that you take that amount of money you go buy that specific food in bulky whenever you get that salary otherwise if you don't do that you're gonna pay that what you call the poverty tax what exactly do usually do i mean by poverty tax it means that say you want to go ahead there and you want to buy some bundles okay instead of you buying a monthly subscription bundles you usually buy like each and every day bundle that one will actually cost you more than what you expect out there so the most simple thing that i always advise people is this make sure that, that you at least go out there and purchase that thing that we call a monthly sort of a, a, a subscription so that at least you avoid that what we call the black tax so the moment or rather not the black tax but the poverty tax so immediately after getting your salary make sure that you at least go out and budget for your money and do a shopping like holistically so that you do not get yourself into troubles next time when you're doing your thing so this issue of buying small things at small quantities whenever you need them actually can get yourself into more problems all right the another one is about the school fees i'm assuming at this particular level perhaps it's really it's not really advisable to actually get your family uh when you have the constraints of this amount of money but i'm not saying hey you know what i'm not saying that you should not get married or something of sort no you can just go ahead maybe you can just get yourself in such a situation because at the end of the day life is life and we cannot be able to negotiate with it now this is the point say you're married and you earn this amount of money of course you have to set aside some few amount of money towards your school fees the school fees we know of course goes for three months of course you have to save month one month two and month three cumulatively now you can be able to pay your school fees out there of course i do not expect you to have seven kids with this amount of money at your salary it can be very tough for you honestly honestly speaking it can be very tough for you i'm pretty sure you're organizing yourself and you're having yourself what you call a plan so that you live a decent life that's an amazing thing so three thousand those are what i've proposed earning this amount of money then that means exactly that nine thousand at the end of the month of course it won't get you like an amazing place where you get your kids to school but of course it will get you a decent place where they can be able to get education and be able to propel their dreams towards the next level because we say education is a necessity thing it may not be the actually the tool to make money in life but it's a necessity in life to open your brain and that kind of a thing the other one is about entertainment of course if i was to leave or if i leave this one behind of course you guys you can crucify me like all the time of course i understand life is tough and of course you have to make yourself happy and all those kind of things and guess what i've just done i've actually squeezed the amount of money that i've dedicated on this category i've squeezed it up to 2500 yeah i know you'll be like okay is 2500 enough for me to enjoy and all those kind of things probably no because at this particular level when you're earning this amount of money this is why we call a lot of sacrifice discipline consistency for you to be able to proceed and move to the next level people are saving this amount of money daily you're getting this amount of money as your salary basic salary at the end of the month so you have a long way to go honestly speaking and guess what and i always tell people well there's never a lack thing or like entirely lack it's lucky yeah it has an aspect of luck inside of it but it's in it is intentional and you have to do something you have to do something intentionally and then in the process of you doing that intentionally then when luck hits you then that's when you call the success because simply what i, what I always say is that success is always an intersection between those two between two things number one is a hard work and what we call the luck when the two things intersect at that intersection that's where we call it a success because you can't be a hard working person but you haven't been hit by the luck anyway and you can't be lucky person but you don't have the brains have you ever seen somebody who has money the but they are not smart and you are like if i was to be given the money that this guy has that and then i would be somewhere not those kind of things so you have to make sure that those two things meet at the same time that's a reality about a life what i realized uh, 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 later uh, the other one of course is the most important thing and you know, you know all, all the whole reason of me doing all this is because of this last one that is about the savings and going by the 50 30 20 percent rule says that you're supposed to save at least 20 percent of whatever you earn at the end of the month now in this case i propose that you save yourself four thousand to five thousand if you can manage to save more than this then the rest assured that you're moving on the right direction and guess what the only way you can be able to to create more surplus on this area is by you exactly making sure that you're just the figures that i've given out there if you realize you can squeeze on the rent if you realize you can squeeze on the transport if you realize you can squeeze on the things to do with food but of course don't starve people and if you realize you can squeeze on the school fees and all 
whatever the place that you can be able to deduce more figures here so that you can increase the bulge or rather the basket of savings that would be an amazing thing because at the end of the day this is now what takes you to the next level remember one thing i said that 25k of course at this level it's so much at the beginning and you need to do something about this and here you need a lot of sacrifice you need dedication you need consistency and you need discipline for you to get yourself out of this and guess what the most important thing is to do is to actually create another uh what we call another source of income we call it a passive income immediately after deciding to save your four thousand or five thousand monthly and this is what I've done, done exactly here. If you decide to save yourself 4,000 at the end of the month, yearly you accumulate 60,000. If you decide to save 4,000, you accumulate 48,000 at the end of the year. You don't have to wait like a whole year for you to invest this amount of money. You may decide after the first 5,000, after the second or the third, after the fifth, you hit your 20K or 15,000. Maybe you have a family, you can sit down and talk to them. Hey, you know what? This is the amount of money we have on the table. What can we do with this amount of money so that we can supplement that what we are getting in this family? And if you're alone, then it's not a problem with that. Or what you can do, you can take this 4,000, you can be dedicating towards investing your money into buying shares. You can decide to go into circles, all those kind of things. You can decide to go into what we call the money market fund and progressively you move to the next level. Why I'm choosing all this is because say you're employed somewhere 24 seven and that, that means you do not have time to run that uh, conventional business that is out there you can always pick these areas of investments that do not require you being there physically engaged for you to be able to make money you can get started with uh, stock shares and stock shares you can start with as low as 2000 3000 5000 it all depends on which company you choose to get started you can start with mmf some of the mmf actually requires as low as 100 bob uh, for you to get started so you can actually choose those one you can choose to go into circles and you save your money and then once you accumulate a certain percentage of money you qualify for a loan you can either guarantee yourself using the money that you already have in as your deposit or you can actually get the guarantors if you can afford to then get your loan and then you can buy an asset or you can just go overly and try to uh, be servicing an asset that you've bought out there i mean there are areas on how you can be able to actually uh, multiply this money and create wealth as the time goes and guess what that's the end of my video and guess what i always post a video each and every day i've told you if you don't want to miss any piece of my good videos make sure that at least you subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell like this video comment down below tell me what you think and what other class of money you want me to discuss like 50,000 20 70 80 100 90 i saw somebody told me to make one for 90,000 yeah sure no problem i'll make that one because let's appreciate the fact that there are people who are earning that amount of money in our country so anyway for now it's a good buy but don't forget you can grab my number from the description of this specific video give me a call or text me on whatsapp to get a copy of of Papa proposed personal finance management. I have this copy for only 280 shillings that can gar you know, guide you on how to manage your money. I also have business plans of different businesses, other means of investments like circles, shares, MMF, treasury bits, treasury bonds. All those booklets are available at only 280 Kenyan shillings each copy. All right, so grab my number up there, text me and let's talk business. For now, it's a goodbye and see you in the next one.